We made a huge mistake and decided to go white water rafting in Sand Hill, Colombia, and... We almost didn't survive. But we got the entire experience on GoPro. In hindsight, there were multiple points of failure. Point of failure number one, we booked the day of, and you should never do a white water rafting event the day of, and especially if they're gonna get you in the boat within an hour of booking the event, because all the, the only thing that's gonna be available is a small boat. Point of failure number two, the company made us feel really confident about using the small boat, or the ducky as they call it. Point of failure number three, the guide looked really nervous at the starting point, and, um, that didn't really help our confidence. Thankfully, Whitney decided to ask to wait for all these other boats because they had a bunch of other guides and that honestly saved our lives. Point of failure number four, there were no rescue guides with us. We were only with one guide because it was a small boat for three people. So it was just the three of us. I don't know how he was gonna rescue us if those other people were not there. Point of failure number five, it is the rainy season and that means there's way more water than normal. And it had rained all night. The night before. The night before. Point of failure number six, the water was terrifying to look at at the starting point. That was the most extreme part. It was terrifying. With all that said and all those points of failure, we decided to do it anyways and we got lots of different bruises on our body because of it. How'd you get your bruises? Well, I only got one. <laughs> it's in the back, my lower back. It's not your butt, it's like on basically. My back, it's, it's my hip. Yeah, your hip. My right. right hip. I got hit when the guide rescued me and he was trying to get me through some rapids to a safer location where the other boat could pick me up and um, he just went through too close to rock and I hit her really hard. Um, that was the only time I got hit. Yep. It's still like purplish right now, six days after the event. I had a moment, you'll see this on the video, where I tried to grab the boat and try to grab like the front of it, but it, 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 the water was just moving too fast. And because of that, I actually fell forward and my right leg and like the top groin area of my leg, I like hit a rock and then on the same rock I hit my knee and then I scraped my foot, like just bam, 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 all on the same rock. Um, but I was still able with that to maneuver myself and get my head above water um, in that moment. But it was incredibly terrifying. But thankfully, 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 those individual kayakers who were like super experienced were there and they like saved our lives and we were calling them water angels or that's what we're calling them, our water angels. They are our water angels. Because <laughs> they came down and rescued us. Um, but man, it, it really ruined the rest of our plans for San Hilo. We didn't do any other like extreme active activities, not even hiking because we were just kind of like limping around the rest of the day. Um, and we were only spending two days in Sand Hill in the first place. So that was a bit of a bummer because we were planning on doing so many other things. Um, but after the incident, they warmly welcomed us into the boat. Um, the big boat? Yeah. Uh, they didn't seem to mind because they were probably like, okay, yeah, we, we gotta save these people's lives. <laughs> I think I looked pretty terrified and the girls on the boat, they all like ask me, are you okay? They hold my hand. They made me feel very at peace because I was in shock and I was terrified still. Yeah, I was in shock for like probably a good 10 minutes after I got on the big boat and I was just like, I can't believe that just happened and how horrible it was. Um, but there was a point when we were on the big boat and they were like, okay, it's time to get back on your small boat. <laughs> and we were like, no, we don't care if it's a different company. Please don't make us go back on. I remember hearing Whitney saying, no, no, please don't, and asking like everybody around her, do I have to go back on the boat? Yeah, I, I was terrified. I asked everyone if they were okay with us staying. They said yes, and I, I wasn't gonna go back in the small boat. They said the river was pretty calm after that. And but it was much calmer than it that was initial calmer, first part, yes. But there were still rapids, and I did not feel confident going through them in the small boat nor did I feel confident rowing because my back still hurt a yeah. lot. It was very painful and then we also saw our guide 
by himself in the boat that we were in, just like going over the rapids, like paddling backwards, and you'll see that in the video, and it's just like, dude, what the heck, man? We're crazy, right? This is the craziest thing we've ever done. We're dumb. Or we're dumb. <laughs> At least in that moment, we were dumb. But I love you. I love we're you alive. too. <laughs> I didn't know about Johnny for I don't know how long. Yet. It was like three minutes. I mean, in the entirety, and and I get that on on footage where we actually see each other um, in the moment after crashing. So here it is, guys. Like we have literally just 30 seconds of us actually conquering this river, and then we crash. So 30 seconds of glory, 30 seconds of belief, and 30 seconds of false expectations and then it's like completely over. So if you're brave enough to watch it, enjoy.